Hello again viewers, we're at the H10 Lanzarote Princess Hotel in Playa Blanca I can tell you right now I've made a wee mistake here I'll tell you about it in a minute I'm not staying here I've just come in to see what it looks like, it looks lovely <laughs> I'm staying around the corner at the K Beach Sun Hotel It's definitely a higher standard this hotel and a better location as well I'll tell you about the mistake in a minute so, big swimming pool stretches all the way back. Just beyond there, you've got the seafront, you've got the Papa Gale shopping centre, some good bars in there, the Heart Bar and the Bikers Bar. It's literally just round the corner. So location wise, it's not too bad. We've got another pool over there as well. All the H10 hotels I ever walk into are always quite nice visually. Another wee pool here. We pool bar around the side it looks like as well looks like a good family hotel see they've got a lot of things set up for families plenty of sunbeds loads of them wee bridge taking you in there restaurants just around here it's been cloudy today but the sun is coming out i could have stayed here bed and breakfast for 73 pounds and i decided to pay 58 pounds and stay 10 minutes away nearly like the k beach sun it was a mistake, I would have got a nice breakfast in here, I could have took a video of the breakfast to show you as well. Probably would be nicer room and the location is definitely better here than the K Beach Sun. The K Beach Sun, I'm not going to have any complaints about it, I knew roughly where the location was and I booked it. But, a couple of wee farm things there. Um, this is a better location than the K Beach Sun, there's no doubt in it. Only maybe by 6-7 minutes walking, not a big difference couple of bars and restaurants here. I almost wish I didn't come in here and see this because it's quite nice, quite nice and relaxing, peaceful. Um, as with most Lanzarote hotels, it's not too high rise, just a few floors. Here is the reception area, the boutique ground here as well. I've seen people queuing up to the restaurant a minute ago, they might be doing lunch in there, I don't think I can show you that but Check out the Christmas treats, it's filmed at Christmas. So it looks as if they've got a separate restaurant, so that's a buffet restaurant that looks of it. And I've got a separate one here. If it's the same as the one in Tenerife, like the H10 Las, um, Palmeiras and Las Americas, my brother stayed in there. Then a couple of times a week you get to pick the different restaurant, you don't have to go in the buffet restaurant every week. Don't know if it's the same here, probably is. So there is the restaurant, let's see. I'm getting the information for you. You know, just entertainment information. We map. Restaurant looks nice, eh? People help themselves to be buffet. Got all the breads over there as well. Stretches quite a bit back there. Looks nice. Um, bakery as well. Yeah, uh, well, looks lovely. Looks lovely. Um, definitely regretting not booking this. But anyway, viewers, it's not the first mistake I've made, and it won't be the last. Sometimes you should pay a wee bit extra, get a better location, get a nicer hotel. The K Beach Sun looks a family, decent hotel, no complaints really about how the hotel looks. It's just the location, just a wee bit further out. I'll show you in a minute, we'll walk outside where it is. Okay, here's the bar area, they're showing all the World Cup games advertised here as well. I can see they've got Australian draft I think, with my eyesight's. Okay, looks like a strain drafter is at Mahu. Let's see viewers, this is important, I need to check this out for you, it's important. Oh yeah, it's a stray. even worse, I'm even more annoyed now viewers, that I didn't stay here. Did you know with the H10 hotels, when you book direct, sometimes you get a free cocktail. But if you come down to the bar and say I don't drink cocktails, can you give me a free pint? If you're really cheeky, they'll give you two pints. <laughs> to be fair, the deal I seen wasn't through the official website, it was through... I can't remember who it was through actually. Is it Vio.com? Who used to be fine to tell? I think it was through them. Which is very unusual. Most of the time, the best price in H10 hotels is always through the official website. It's quite a nice reception area, as you can see. Nice, eh? We privilege desk here for the VIP privilege customers. What have we got around here? What a wee library. Shouldn't, probably shouldn't walk any further. Look at that, get some consoles, internet set up there as well. 
what we've got in here. Privilege room as well. So this is going to be probably quite similar to the up terraces you get in the spring hotels, the Rona Gran and the Volcano, where you basically go in and just help yourself to food. Um, I'm assuming that's the same for Privilege. Let me know if anybody's in the H10 Privilege Club or do you upgrade that when you actually check into the hotel? Not sure. Let's head out anyway. Here's, I'll show you the exact location. There's another nice hotel right next to it. Oh look, wee Santa stuff there. Okay, let's head outside. The builders are following me. Building work outside. <laughs> Don't know what they're doing there. Um, oh, the sun's come out of yours. The sun has come out. Okay, plenty of car parking if you have a car. If you're in Playa Blanca, a lot of people will hire cars. It's quite spread out. Um, so, I'll show you in a minute where my hotel is. Should have booked here, no doubt in it. I don't, I even, I've not checked into my room yet. It doesn't even matter if they give me a palace. I don't really care about the rooms. Um, it's more location and convenience for me. And I could have got a nice breakfast in there. I've just booked room only, self-catering in the Cape Beach Sun. If you're new to the channel, do me a wee favour, hit the subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Um, I do lots of walks around everywhere. I'll try and show you locations of hotels. Every hotel I stay in, I'll show you inside. I'll show you what I paid for it. I'll give you my honest opinion on it. It's a nice use from here, mind you, to be fair. So my hotel, the KB Sun, is way, way down there. I don't know if there's a shortcut into it. That might be the back of it there. I don't know if there's a shortcut. It's at least a five minute walk, which is not bad downhill, but coming back up the house a wee bit more. Um, so just go down there and then turn right, takes you into the main entrance. As I said, I'm not sure if there's a wee gate, maybe you can get in. I'll find it out when I check in. There is a gate around the side of the Lanzarote Princess that saves you coming all the way in here. Let me show you the location, but... That's the Yaza, I think it's the Princess Yaza Hotel. I'm going to try and see if I can go in there and see what it's like. These wee bungalows, I don't know what, what they are, they're private, they're still building over there. Not quite sure if they're part of a complex. I will go up there and check it out. Down here, a wee bit to the left, you've got the Rubicon Marina. And just over, eh, around the corner here, I'll show you the Papagayo Shopping Centre, which has got quite a few bars and restaurants in it, including Burger King. Um, and eh, the Bikers Bar, the Heart Bar. So it's got quite a few in it. So location wise, you have got quite a few bars and restaurants quite quite close to you. Not loads, but there's, there's enough to keep you occupied for sure. If you turn right, it takes you down to the kind of wee bit of the kind of town centre bit. There's actually some really nice seafront restaurants um, just near there as well. So that's worth considering. So as I said, there is a side it entrance, I've seen people going in and out with a key card in the side bit which saves you going all the way around to reception because it is a bit of a walk around from reception down to the main road here. Reasonably flat but so don't worry, any mobility issues you'll be fine. Okay, I've not got my glasses on but does that say the Princess Yaza? I think resort. Okay, we'll see viewers. If I remember, I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video. Check it out, we'll see. You can compare the two, I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to go in and show you it, we'll see. So, here we go, viewers. Here is the location. There is the sea. Yeah, pretty close to the seafront. Cross over. So, nice hotel there, see down there, and just, you can see the side, some of the bars and restaurants, I'm going to do another video, I've done one about a year ago, um, we'll see if anything's changed, but on the seafront they've got some nice bars and restaurants down there as well, so location wise, definitely I should have booked it, compared to the hotel I booked, um, if you don't mind walking then it's no big deal to be honest with you, and they've always got the wee e-scooters if you want to hire those. Thanks for watching viewers, I really appreciate you watching the video to the end, it helps the channel out so much. Don't forget on your way out, give it a wee thumbs up, it's absolutely free. If you're new to the channel, you might as well hit the subscribe button because I've not told you before, but it's absolutely free, it does not cost a penny.
So we're going to try and go in here and see what this one's like. Um, let me know if you've stayed in any of these hotels, what's your honest opinions, what's the best one. I think value for money, without a doubt, I should have booked the H10 Lanzarote Princess. Um, I'm so annoyed. But anyway, I'll go over it, viewers, don't worry, I'll go over it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.